VRAM usage across workloads. This is part 5 video of this series. So, enough talk. Let's take a closer look at some popular workloads and their VRAM requirements. As mentioned before, selecting an excessive amount of VRAM might have no real-world performance benefits, while not having enough could lead to crashes and cripple your performance. We have combined similar workloads into popular categories based and take a look at their VRAM requirements. 3D modeling, animation, and CPU slash GPU rendering. Getting the most out of your GPU in 3D workloads today depends on whether your scene data that is needed to render a frame can fit easily into your GPU's video memory. If you run out of memory, you will be forced to rely on system RAM, which is slower for graphical tasks. Active workloads. For those building a PC for 3D modeling or animation, the graphics card plays a vital role in determining the frame rate of your viewport and how smooth your work will feel. The ideal viewport frame rate should be at around 30 to 60 frames per second for a smooth experience that allows you to interact with your model without encountering lag. Since you will render frames in real time, ensuring your graphics card is equipped with sufficient VRAM is essential. Based on your scene complexity, polygon count, texture display resolution, and viewport effects, we recommend starting with at least a 6GB graphics card like the GTX 1660 Super, which hits the sweet spot for price and performance. If you plan on activating heavy viewport rendering features in Blender's EV or Maya's Viewport 2.0, the added shader effects, SSAO, depth of field, bloom, or real-time reflections will make it challenging to work on cards with less than 8GB of VRAM, especially if the scene is of a more complex nature. If this is you, look into buying at least an RTX 2060 Super or RTX 3060 Ti to be able to continue working with a responsive viewport. Working at higher resolutions will also lead to higher consumption of VRAM, and at this point, most lower-end 8GB cards will begin to reach their limits. Keep in mind that, similar to gaming, the viewport load is shared between the CPU and GPU at lower resolutions, making the CPU the primary bottleneck. So, upgrading the CPU can give you a significantly larger improvement over increasing the VRAM, especially if your scene already fits nicely into the video memory. Summary, VRAM requirements for active 3D workloads such as modeling, animation, rigging, texturing. Baseline, a GPU with 6 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM example, GTX 1660 Super. Moderate complexity scenes, a GPU with 8 to 10 gigabytes of VRAM, e.g. RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070. Highly complex scenes, a GPU with 10 plus GB of VRAM, e.g. RTX 2080 Ti, RTX 3080. We will continue about GPU VRAM videos please wait for it. We will discuss all area about VRAM. Thanks for watching.